Hello and welcome. I'm Kai Ball, and today we'll be playing Sunless Sea. He has never been a friendly to man. At most, it has been in the accomplice of restless. First captain will probably die. That's amazing. So, Sunless Sea uh, looks like a really, really good game. Um, I haven't gotten the chance to play it quite yet. This is going to be my first playthrough. Uh, basically, this is a game about exploration. You go around and you find amazing new things in a Victorian era London uh, underground cave, I suppose. It's Sunless Sea. It says it's like kind of uh, under under the, the. I don't I don't know what I'm trying to say. Basically. We're going to go into new worlds, we're going to find new things, and it's going to be fun. Let's jump right into it. <clears throat> oh, okay. Wow, look at all this. Alright. Three decades ago, in the reign of Victoria, London was stolen by bats. It now lies a mile below the surface, dreadfully inconvenient for everyone. But it's opened a vast black ocean for you. Okay, so we are indeed uh, below the surface. We're in an underground, basically, ocean uh, cave system thing. Welcome to the Untersee. German or French? Uh, decide who you are and who you want to be, okay? You now lodge in a room above the blind hellsman. Okay, who are we? A street urchin, an urchin, your urchin gang cast you out when you grew too tall. That's pretty funny. Took to the sea rather than graduate to larger crimes. Be a poet. Educated and articulate, you seek the sensation of the sea. Okay, the veteran of the campaign of 68. You fought in the invasion of hell. London's armies lost. You survived. Your loot and your pension have bought you to bought you a command. Excuse me. Looks like we're putting the pieces together here. The ordained priest. You fell from grace. There's nothing left to shore from you. Oh, wow. That's no good. Uh, a natural philosopher. Particular theories on time, blood, and starlight brought you down to the Neth, the cavern where London lies. I say we be a poet. Sounds like a... Is that our character there? Oh, he looks absolutely suave and physique. Greek, whatever. What is that thing on the left? It looks like a comatose ferret. Mostly it's immobile. Occasionally it's feral. It's it's my o my officer. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, wise soul, experience. You have intuition, and your friend, the sly navigator. He's a little vague, but he probably knows what he's doing. I take it that's my little friend. Okay. You've gained twenty-five new pages. Um, no idea what these pages are. You have one sly navigator. You have twenty echo. I guess this is your money. Uh, and you. You're a struggling poet, and now you are a Z captain. Oh my god. What are they going to deal with this now? You were a struggling poet, and now you are a Z captain. You are a stranger. The you are a stranger quality is gone. Welcome to the world. Okay, cool. So, your father's bones. Your father was lost at sea, and you never knew him. Uh, fulfillment, wealth. I see we've got to set up all kinds of little. This is your ambition. So, what is my ambition? Your father's bones, fulfillment, or wealth? Well, I want to learn all I can about the sea. Write a masterpiece. Sounds good to me. Uh, gather a hundred tales and learn all you can. Considering this guy is probably going to die. Okay, Captain. Lost scrap of paperwork. An irregularity with the harbor master's office. They wish to know what term of address do you prefer ashore? Ah, are you madame, a sir, a citizen, or my lord? Sir's Sir's just plain, there's nothing to it. Um more Z captains you might expect, Madame. Really? We'll stick with Sir. Something simple. Your address as quality is now Sir. Okay. So now I choose my name. Let's see. Poet with a ferret going off to sea. Let's call him Frederick. Me. And oh, I can pick all kinds of little uh, silhouettes for my character. I like this one, the Invisible Man. <laughs> I like it a lot. Okay, deep, dark, and marvelous. All voyages start here. This is where successful voyages end. 
Okay, so I've got advice for captains from my lodgings where I may catch up in London, the greatest city in the undersea. Uh, I'm not going to read the advice for captains because I'm, I'm actually a professional sailor. We're not going to worry about that. This is going to be nice and easy. So I've got the hold, which this is my ship. I, I guess we can upgrade the ship with auxiliary and bridges. I've got fuel. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, okay. My journal, memoirs, officers, sly navigator. Competent? Probably. Trustworthy? Possibly. Okay, oh, okay, so this is the Frederick. This is just a navigator. And then this is my comatose ferret. Righteous. He's my mas He's my mascot. Thank God, I thought he was my navigator. Mostly it's immobile. Okay. Shops where I can buy things, which I have no money to buy, so we'll go ahead and close out of that. Okay. So let's. Go ahead and start on our way. Click the launch button to leave port. Launch button. E. Okay. Bam. Uh, how do I steer? Don't know how to do this stuff. E is to battle. Wait. Oh, here we go. Okay, okay. Arrow keys. Got it. <clears throat> we are well on our way. Oh, no, 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 no. Get away, jelly floor. Get away. Oh, my God. Oh no! Your ship founders, their screams, the flood of the dark water, the unforgettable sound of the ship's spine breaking. I shall be remembered in song. Oh man. Well, my first captain has died. You ch choose a legacy. Oh man, your first captain has died. Don't worry, these things happen. Explore boldly with your next captain. Oh man, Frederick. Frederick, no! It was too soon. Uh, achievement unlocked, sink below the waves. Well, I was Frederick's rival, retained 50% of their iron value weapon. Oh, I see, this is the next person. I can't be a pupil, a salvager, a shipmate, or a correspondent because, let's face it, I didn't have any of them. The only thing I had was a rival, and obviously he was a pretty low level rival too, because uh, I didn't go very far. Okay, starting combat stats are all the same, starting wealth is 50, inherent weapon, lead beater. Oh. I got. Oh, I can't choose. Anything else. Okay, accept my legacy. So I am Frederick's rival. Oh man, poor Frederick though. Even as his rival, I feel horrible. Okay, so decide who I were and who I want to be. Who I were. Or I can decide later. No, I was. Uh, apparently, I don't know who I am. I have a past. Oh, here we go. So I am a rival poet then. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that since I am his rival. Yeah. Okay, so for this one, I don't gain fulfillment like that loser Frederick. I want the wealth. I want something that I can hold, ascertain, something something that I can bring back and show the world. And I prefer to be known as citizen. That's who the bold are, that's who the men who speak out are. The men known as anonymous. This time we're gonna be. I like this one here. The absolute captain. Be the opposite of Frederick. Man who worked against Frederick. Be uphold. Okay, we don't need to read any of these advice for captain's book. Frederick didn't read them, and you saw what happened. He was a bold and brave man until uh, he met the end. What's this? Cargoes, treasures, weapons, secrets of mischief. Yards. Arrows, naval surplus, misplenties, dipside, provisioners, wolf sacks exchange, and the iron and misery company. That's funny. Okay. So, what do we got here? All kinds of new ships in the shipyard. None of which I can trade because they cost way too much. Okay. We are going to go ahead and set sail then. With, uh, our sly navigator. Okay, launch away. So... So Leopold here saw Frederick's logs. He read about his stories, he read about his battles, and he figured, well, he went down there, he's already discovered quite a bit of it, adds to Venner's a bit. So we're going to go north, and we're going to see the new treasures that we can find that that fool Frederick didn't bother to look for. Alright. I discovered... Here's Hunter's Keep. The more things you discover, the more pages you get in your book. Seems as though the pages are the best thing to have. 
All right. It re really, you don't even... Oh, wow, low barnet is absolutely sunken. That's amazing. I mean, it's not amazing, considering the entire city is sunken, but that one went a little further. Okay, we're going into the fogs now. This looks a little terrifying, guys. How are you going to handle it? Now, the other... Uh-oh. Hold on. Far from the land, click the Z-Bat icon. It will search for undiscovered locations to buy pirate steam pen. Oh, wow. Oh, God, I don't want to have to attack. Oh, crap. Yep, they're going in for the rear. Crap, Ola. I have to attack them. Alright, guys, get, get the guns ready. These guys have probably got a pretty good setup. Fire! Oh, crap. Their hull's not nearly as good as mine, but they've got they probably got a faster reload since they have such a high crew. Fire! Oh yeah, this should actually this should be easy. Look, we got him. We got him. Leopold can handle this. Maybe Frederick couldn't. Leopold's definitely got the uh, upper hand on this guy. Got a tighter turning circle, definitely. Fire! And he's down. Fantastic guys. Okay, so loot and scuttler, definitely. Alright, we've got a cache of curiosities, all kinds of little penances. Uh, don't sail far from their hidden harbors, but there's something at the back of the hold. Okay, so that tells me we're gonna, what's this, a stout crate. The crate, crate's a source of sustenance, a fundamental and elemental cargo. It's a crate of supplies. Uh, cache of curiosities, curiosities is gone, we're no longer curious, clearly. Uh, we've gained five supplies, so I guess supplies apply to food, maybe? Hard tack and water and an unexpected box of nails. Huh. Okay, let's get out of uh, battle mode. We're at Carissa's point now. What's this? Full power to the engines. If you ever need an extra turn of speed, click the full power icon. Uh, resume base chart. Okay. So it's just going to keep pausing me to tell me about things. Prepare to learn. Oh, no. And then we make our way through stag. Hopefully this island doesn't become uh, closed off and in my way, and I don't have to turn around. Let's see, the Tana, Tana Chook, excuse me. So this place is really awesome. Crew, 8 of 10. How many Zaylers have on board? Have Ants Abyss. Can you abyss or can't you? So far, so good. Let's try to get ourselves into one of these buoys so that our crew doesn't keep going insane. Uh, it looks like their terror is only at six. Ninety-six percent fuel remaining in the barrel, and I've got six fuel barrels. Okay, so if I run out of fuel, chances are things are not going to go well. So I have to keep wary of that, and I also keep I have to keep uh, a look over any of the ports that I've passed recently. There seems to be quite a few of them. Just going from where we are, uh, ports range, what the heck is that? What is this thing? Let's do battle with it. Leopold isn't scared. Frederick would have run, but Leopold is definitely a man ready for battle. It's, an, it's a lifeberg. Oh, that's a big thing. Oh, this is definitely not the best idea. My worst worry is how it attacks. I'm sure it has something to do with slamming. Oh yeah, there it goes. Tight turn, tight turn. Oh, okay. Right? And apparently they won't read the ba reload the barrel unless they can see the uh, creature. Get away from it a little bit. Turn, 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 turn. Oh my god. Turn around and fire. Turn around and fire. Oh, I had to do. I had to force myself a hit on that. That was not good. That damaged the hull quite a bit. Oh god. Okay, its burst isn't so far. What is this? Tooth cracking treasure. A chunk of grit baked in your ship's biscuit. You crack a tooth and curse. What? Your crew chuckle, but when the object turns out to be a diamond, small and badly flawed, but a diamond nevertheless, they all hush. Oh wow. Uh. Others pray to the stone when they want home, hearth, and healing. He's kind of the god you want on your side. He's the name of the god of the sailors. Now, uh, let's do the careful thing. How about that? I've lost five terror. I now have the gods uh, of the stone's attention. 
and I know something of the three gods of the sea. Okay, now we just have to avoid dying from this live bird, since we now know about all kinds of godly stuff. The worst part is I have to keep it in... Oh my god, it hits hard. Okay, I've got to get a port. I've got to get to port. I cannot... Where's the... Where's the over... Full power of the engines? Get out of here! Oh no, my hull. Oh no! Leopold, you fool! Oh man, even a sepia tint to the air. These are the waters around the tomb colonies. Perhaps I'll be remembered in song, indeed. With an zero X and an ironclad, ironclad wheel. No more sleep. Choose a, choose a legacy. Wow. Alright, well, this is definitely a game of quick deaths and... Um... Ooh, it's... It's, it's easy to survive as long as you don't make really bad decisions. So I can't... I can't make a new guy with a pupil. Excuse me. I can't make a new guy. So I can't make a new guy as a pupil, a salvager, or a shipmate. Because, once again, the pull didn't go all that far. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice seems to be breaking a little. Um, well, we didn't even have an iron collab will this time. So, we're going to uh, leave off here for now. Uh, probably do a little more gameplay on this because the exploration effect of it is actually really fun. Um, we'll probably get further than a few miles away from the starting shore and we'll see where we can go from there. Uh, wow, that thing looks terrifying. So, thank you all for watching. Remember to look for my other videos. Uh, I've been Kaiball uh, and enjoy!